Well, how's it going tonight there, YouTube? Well, let's talk numbers for a minute here. I guess this will be my 200th video on YouTube. I was hoping to have an unboxing video for you guys tonight, but that's quite alright. I checked the P.O. box here last night and it was empty, but hey, that's okay. That's quite alright. All kinds of time to send stuff in if you're interested. The P.O. box description will be down in the box below. Anyway, I noticed we are almost at 560 subscribers. And I thought I'd do a kind of a different style video this evening. I want to do a video on the top five farm toys I want to add to my tractor collection here. Well, actually, my great toy tractor hoard room here, as I should say, because everything... Well, it's not so much hoardish, but if you go back on the older videos, it looks kind of hoardish. That's where the name came up from. So anyway, these are in no particular order, but here's number five. 164 scale Oliver Super 88 sold by Masson Miniatures. Now... I've come across a few on eBay over the years, but they're few and far in between, so that's why I ended up making one. But, oh well, it is what it is, and I'm sure I'll come across one somewhere, and maybe someone out there in YouTube man has one that uh, they'd like to see me put together on a video or something. But anyway, number four is the uh, 175th anniversary of J.I. Case, and that would be the big steam engine that they just released. Number three, John Deere 7800 Elite Precision. I've always liked the 7000 series John Deere tractors and actually if I end up picking one of those up, I know they're expensive as a father mucker right now, but uh, if I do happen to get one, I want to convert one to a 7810. Number two would be the Toy Tractor Times Cockshot 1855 chase unit. Now the Minneapolis Moline G940 is the regular production unit and the 1855 being the chase unit. And number one right now what I'm really looking to get is the Toy Tractor Times Minneapolis Moline G1000 and 164 scale that they released just a couple months ago. And a bonus one for you guys. I also like to add the Case IH Quad Tracks Authentics, that is the very first quad track that Case put out. Why don't you guys write in the comment box about some tractors you guys want to add to your collection? Anyway, that's going to conclude this video. If you're interested in sending a tractor farm type piece of equipment for the greatest farm type collection on YouTube, I'll give you a big, big shout out on my YouTube channel. I agree, I appreciate everything everyone sent in so far. Anyway, thanks for watching.